Cut no gang, cut no gang. We on chapter four. Infection control principles and practices. Yes, sir. Now, if you didn't get chapter one, Barber History, it's in the link description below. If you didn't get chapter two, Life Skills, it's in the link description below. If you didn't get chapter three, Professional Image, it's in the link description below. Now we on chapter four, Infection Control Principles and Practices, guys. Yes, sir. Let's get to it. Lyme disease is caused by what type of bacteria? Staphylococci. Diplococci. Bacilli. Spirilla. Lyme disease is caused by what type of bacteria? Lyme disease looks like this, guys. We're going to go with Spiriola. Lyme disease is caused by what type of bacteria? Spiriola. This is Spiriola, guys. Yes, sir. Do not try to tools yourself. Repair. Purchase. Disinfect. Clean. Do not try to repair tools yourself guys we're gonna go with repair leave it to the professionals you the barber take it to the professionals the clipper guy the the, the clipper man who's trained for that who's certified for that and, and make sure you get a receipt that way if it's not done right you take it right back so they can replace it or fix it either or you in good hands because you paying for what for what you get and that's what you just want. You just you just want what you want, and and you want your, your your clippers to hit right. You don't even need to, you know. Take it to the professional guys. We're gonna go with repair. Do not try to repair tools yourself, guys. Yes, sir. Where should you test the water temperature before applying to a client's hair or scalp? Inside of your wrist. Back of your hand, palm of your hand, your fingers. Where else should you test the water temperature before applying it to the client's hair scalp? Always test the water potential inside your wrist, guys, just like this. Inside the wrist, guys. Yes, sir. Staphylococci cause which of the following? Tetanus. Pneumonia. Boils. Blood poisoning. I'm gonna go with boils, guys. Yes, uh, this is what what it looks like. Boils, guys.
The CDC requires that autoclaves be tested weekly to ensure they are properly sterilizing implements, using a test. Performance Bacterial Spore Viral We're gonna go with spore test, guys. I'm gonna go with spore. The CDC requires the autoclaves be tested weekly to ensure they're properly sterilized implements using a spore test, guys. Yes, sir. What should you wear when pouring or mixing products? Goggles. Apron. White coat. Non-skid shoes. We're going to go with goggles, guys. Yes, sir. We're going to go with goggles when pouring or mixing products. Due to the drying effect of alcohol, hand sanitizers should not be cleaners, diluted, overused. Used as an antiseptic. We're going to go with overused, guys. Due to drying effect of alcohol, hand sanitizer should not be overused, guys. Yes, sir. We're going to go with overused. Hey, y'all, remember, stay focused. We in this book. Now, if you made it this far in the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It took a lot of time to do these videos, and... It really helps out the channel. I know I said it in the beginning, but I don't think you liked it yet, commented it yet, or subscribed yet. Do that for me. Now back to the questions. That stems from a knowledgeable and caring manner is what separates a true professional from a non-professional. Income. Behavior. Clothing. Legal responsibility. We're going to go with behavior, guys. Behavior that stems from a knowledgeable and caring manner is what separates a true professional from a non professional. Behavior, guys. Yes, sir. Tuberculosidal disinfectants are often referred to as wet sanitizers. Quats, phenolics, statutes. We're going to go with phenolics, guys. Tuberceutical disinfectants are often referred to as phenolics, guys. Yes, sir. And this is a tuberceutical disinfectant. That's referred as a phenolic. Most important responsibility is to recommend products, protect your client's health and safety, know our chemicals characteristics, know federal and state manufacturing laws. We're going to go with protect your client's health and safety, guys. Your most important responsibility is to protect your client's health and safety, guys. Yes, sir. That's what we're going to go with. You should never mix detergents and bleach. Detergents and water. Bleach and water. Concentrated disinfectants and water. We're going to go with detergent and bleach, guys. Yes, sir. You should never mix detergent and bleach. Yes, sir. It is the barber's responsibility to keep regulatory agencies informed about changes to regulations. Be aware of changes to rules and regulations. Recommend changes to rules and regulations. Decide what constitutes legal standards of conduct. We're going to go with be aware of changes to rules and regulations, guys. 
Yes, sir. Effective sterilization typically requires the use of eye opening parentheses and closing parentheses. Multi use tool. Hospital disinfectant. Autoclave. UV light unit. We're going to go with autoclave, guys. Effective steriliz sterilization typically requires the use of an autoclave, guys. Yes, sir. Barbering tools and implements are designed for specific purposes. Barbers. Environments. Clients. We're going to go with purposes, guys. Barbering tools and implements are designed for specific purposes, guys. Yes, sir. Is the process that destroys all microbial life, including spores. Sanitizing. Sterilization. Cleaning. Disinfection. We're going to go with sterilization, guys. Sterilization is the process that destroys all microbial life, including spores. Sterilization. Yes, sir. See how we did, guys. Yes, sir. You guys see it. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes, sir. Oh, look. Okay. Well, we just went over chapter four, guys, in the My Lady Barber book. Yeah, again, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out. It motivates me to do these videos. Y'all like, comment, and subscribe again. Tell a friend. We on chapter five next. We just completed chapter four. If you guys missed the other chapters, they're in the link description below. Y'all tap in. Cutting up, gang. We out.